In the world of astrology, the moon represents our inner world of feelings, emotions, and intuition. When the moon finds itself in the constellation of Cancer, it's as though it's coming home, since Cancer is ruled by the moon. This celestial event crafts a profound connection to our emotions and the activities we carry out daily. During this time, you might notice an increased attachment to your home, your family, and activities that bring comfort and nostalgia, such as cooking a cherished family recipe or tending to your garden. It's a period when our sense of security is intertwined with the familiar, the domestic, and the nurturing aspects of life. However, the moon in Cancer is not just about cozy feelings and home-baked pies. It's a complex interplay of emotions, intuition, and deep-rooted instincts. Intriguing, isn't it? Now. Let's delve deeper into the emotional impact of the moon in Cancer. When the moon is in Cancer, emotional fluctuations may become a common occurrence. This cosmic shift can greatly affect our emotional state, causing us to ride a roller coaster of feelings. This isn't necessarily a negative thing. Our emotions, after all, are what make us human. They allow us to experience the world in a rich, vibrant way. But as with everything in life, balance is key. During this lunar phase, you might find yourself dwelling on past events or worrying about the future. Overthinking can lead to a spiral of negative thoughts, which can in turn lead to feelings of depression or anxiety. That's why it's so important to learn to forgive and forget. Letting go of past hurts and future worries allows us to live fully in the present moment. The moon in Cancer also encourages us to nurture ourselves and our loved ones. It's a time when we might find ourselves drawn to the comforts of home, family, and familiar activities. This can provide a much-needed sense of safety and stability during this emotionally charged time. However, it's crucial to remember that our feelings, while important, shouldn't dictate every aspect of our lives. Emotions are transient, they come and go, ebb and flow, much like the moon itself. Remember, it's okay to feel, but don't let your emotions govern your life. It's all part of the beautiful, complex dance of the cosmos, and we're all just along for the ride. The moon in Cancer affects not just emotions, but also how you perceive the world. This celestial influence might lead you to view the world through a highly subjective lens, coloring your experiences with your own emotions. This isn't necessarily a bad thing. It helps you empathize with others, and it can make your world richer and more vibrant. But it's also important to remember to step back now and then. Creating a healthy distance from your emotions doesn't mean becoming cold or bitter. It's about giving yourself space to breathe, to see situations from different angles. It's about understanding that your emotions are just one part of the puzzle, not the whole picture. Practicing mindfulness can be a great way to achieve this balance. It allows you to acknowledge your feelings without letting them dictate your entire worldview. Remember, the world is a vast, complex place full of diverse perspectives. A balanced perspective is key during this lunar phase. Did you know that the moon in Cancer can also stir up a rich emotional manifestation within you? This emotionality isn't a sign of weakness. Rather, it's a strength, a unique trait that allows you to connect deeply with others. During this time, you may find yourself feeling more empathetic, more in tune with the emotions of those around you. This heightened emotional state can create a profound sense of belonging. Think of it as the universe's way of reminding us of our interconnectedness. It's as if the cosmos is whispering, you're not alone. You're part of something greater, something beautiful. This phase is a wonderful opportunity to strengthen relationships and build stronger connections. It's a time to lean into your emotions, to let them guide you towards understanding and compassion. Remember, our emotions are the language of the soul. And during the moon in Cancer, that language is amplified. So. The moon in Cancer is not just about emotional changes, it's about finding your place in the world. To wrap up, the moon in Cancer is indeed a fascinating phase. It brings a heightened sense of home and family, stirring emotions and prompting us to indulge in comforting activities. It's a time of emotional ebb and flow, a call to practice forgiveness, and an invitation to view the world from a more subjective lens. Yet, these rich emotional experiences can foster a profound sense of belonging. It's all about balance and perspective during the moon in Cancer. Please like this and subscribe. So the next time the moon is in Cancer, remember to embrace the emotional ride, keep a balanced perspective, and enjoy the sense of belonging it brings.